Update 1 on Super Typhoon Genevieve, which has crossed into the Western Pacific and is now a Category 5 typhoon with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 918 millibars. Its position is 15.2 degrees north, 178.6 degrees east as of 4pm UTC on August the 7th. The storm is expected to move towards the northwest as a Category 5 storm, may not even peaking yet, uh, could peak as a 165 mile per hour Category 5 typhoon before moving towards the northwest and beginning to weaken and eventually turning post-tropical curving away from Japan in around 5 days time. Right now no uh, areas of land are under any risk, uh, though obviously the storm remains out at sea um, and it, it doesn't look likely really that in the next five days any land areas will see the effects of the storm but um, of course a category 5 typhoon cannot be ignored in any case looking at the computer models you can see it on your right hand side there how long is over there on the left and then the storm is expected to move towards the north and then uh, curve back towards the northwest and uh, looks like it stalls out a little bit and then um, probably dissipates or turns post-tropical curving away from Japan in around five or six days time. Um, the GFS is rather much the same in what it predicts for the storm and you can see another storm moving through on those final frames that might well be Izel moving through uh, which is of course striking Hawaii right now uh, and could also uh, make a run for the Western Pacific. Here's the latest satellite image where you can see how well defined that eye is. Um, a very powerful storm if it was over any land areas there'd certainly be real problems uh, but of course that is not the case uh, luckily uh, but you can see those latest frames a very beautiful storm indeed um, with uh, well there it is <laughs> not, not much more needs to be said to be quite honest but 160 mile an hour winds higher gusts of course and the storm is actually gusting with 195 mile per hour winds uh, with a pressure of 918 millibars. Uh, it will be passing in between the small islands of uh, uh, Wake Island and Midway Island in the next few days, but will not be close enough to cause any effects on those islands. As of August 7th at 4pm UTC, there are four typhoon strength storms active, uh, Julio and Izel in the eastern Pacific, and of course Halong and Genevieve in the western Pacific. The remnants of Bertha in the Atlantic, and three invests, uh, two of them in the western Pacific, one in the east. There have been 46 storms so far in 2014, 22 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes or equivalent with 74 mph per hour winds, and 13 of those have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 mph per hour plus. Genevieve is the strongest storm to cross the international dateline since Typhoon Ioke in 2006, which crossed the international dateline as a Category 5 typhoon. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, is the main place to be for all your storm updates. The video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, will have regular updates too. Just search Force 13 on those. And of course, the social pages, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13, at Force 13 on Twitter. And you can speak to me personally on Skype, at Fool 13 on there for tropical weather chat. You can also get involved in the Force 13's forum, which relaunched on August the 4th. Uh, where you can chat about any uh, goings on around the world topics wise anything you want to say uh, you can discuss and ask questions with fellow storm trackers on there um, just search for 13.com forward slash forum that's the link for it there may not be an update on this storm in future uh, but the website will keep you up to date in the meantime that's all for now <laughs>